Michael Frankel for CageMinds.com. My guest today, rising flyweight prospect, undefeated, Jerome Rivera. Thank you for the time. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, doing good. How are you doing, Micah? I'm doing well. It's a great day for you. It's 10 days away from fight night. So, how much notice have you got for this matchup with Roger Reyes on February 28th? How much notice did you have? Um, you know, I start the fight maybe towards the end of December, maybe the beginning of January. But um, I just didn't really post anything on social media until I got it confirmed and sent my contract in, my blood work, everything like that. So, in all, we're talking, actually, you've gotten like a six-week, eight-week count for this? Well, right after that Rudy Kennedy fight, I knew that Josh was fighting Nick Urso. So pretty much just that weekend after the Rudy Kennedy fight, I started my training camp just getting ready with Josh. And then once I found out about my fight, I started getting myself ready. How do you feel so far about your two pro victories? Triple A MMA, you've only went to the second round for the second time at all in a cage. How are you feeling so far about your pro journey? Um, you know, my first fight, I was a little nervous. Uh, I definitely went out there kind of rushed things a little bit, but my last fight, that was definitely the best fight I've ever had. I felt great. I felt calm. I was able to remember my striking combination. I was hitting my kick down. And, uh, I felt good. I felt a lot more comfortable in there. Uh, so... I don't get as nervous when I'm going to go out anymore, so my two pro fights aren't very good for me. So, with this fight, I know Texas can be a little different. Is it three three-minute rounds or three five-minute rounds you're going in this one? <clears throat> yeah, it's three three-minute rounds. Now... So that's that's going to be a little different adjusting to you. Was that just the contract that was given to you, that's what it was, or did you get an explanation about that? Uh, that's just how the contract is given to me, three three-minute rounds. So what does that do now to check your game plan when you've been going the five-minute rounds for these first two fights? Um, you know, always when I fight, I can have a fast-paced fight style. Um, I think it's going to be a little more fast-paced this one. I mean, uh, I don't know, I haven't done three three-minute rounds since kickboxing, so I'm going to see how it goes in there, trying not let it get too fast pace, but I want to, uh, I know I can't start off slow because if he starts throwing a lot of strikes or maybe he has to take down, I know it's easy to lose the rounds in those three minute rounds, so. Obviously, you come in undefeated, he comes in winless. Knowing that you're the favorite, how does that play into your mindset? Or are you starting to get used to that? Um, you know, I'm going to his hometown, so I'm. I'm going in just, I don't even think about that. I don't feel like I'm the favorite. I feel like everyone's going to be rooting for him. And, um, yes, I mean, I don't, I don't really feel like I'm the favorite. Uh, yeah. So, I believe this is going to be your first big trip also. It's just neighboring Texas. But still, your Fe, all these other fights you've had, I believe, have been Santa Fe, Albuquerque, not too far away from home. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to go for my first out of town fight. Um, when I was kickboxing, I went to Colorado fight before, but uh, that's kickboxing, so I'm excited to go take my first trip out of town for MMA. So then, what kind of preparations does that do for you, thinking about the weight cut and the travel coming up? I um, mean, you know, I've been really disciplined with my weight this time because I know uh, we're actually driving out there. We're not going to fly. So um, I've just been really disciplined with my weight cut. I'm about lighter than I've ever been, so I'm not too worried about the weight cut. And uh, as far as preparation, uh, we're not driving down there until the Thursday before weigh-in, so I'm just going to do my normal preparation here in Santa Fe. And when we go out there, yeah, it's the last few pounds of my weight off and then get ready to fight. Josh Montoya, your big brother, he just got done with the last fight he's planning on taking. Tell us about what that experience was like for you, this last training camp and this long training camp. 
Um, it was a very long training camp, that's for sure. But uh, the experience for me was kind of emotional. I mean, Josh taught me how to do my first takedown, my first kick, my first punch. So I got really emotional there watching him go fight. Felt like I was going and watching my sensei go out his last time. So it was a little emotional, but it was nice seeing him perform very good. I thought he did very good. I thought he won the fight, but, you know, can't let it go to the desert and... And now for you, how how can you have that momentum from his great performance carry on to what you're doing next weekend? Um, you know, I'm going to take the momentum and ride with it. I saw Josh go in there. It's a very tough flyweight. Mm. One of the best guys in the state. And Josh did awesome. And me and Josh train together all the time. And mm. I felt like that was a very good confidence booster for me also. And uh, I'm just going to ride that wave, keep the confidence, and go in there more confident than I've ever been in my life next week. So, in this, it's been three months, but where do you feel that you've improved the most over this time? Um, honestly, since I went with Coach Luttrell, just my overall MMA game is just taking leaps and bounds. Um, I mean, before I felt like I knew kickboxing, and I knew jiu-jitsu. And I feel like now that I've gone with Coach Luttrell, I'm learning the MMA part. I'm learning cage work. I'm learning how to get up, uh, Bring a good setup to take down. It's really working on my wrestling a lot. So I feel like those are going to be big improvements for me. This is my overall MMA game, my cage work, my takedowns. You have this run right now of stoppages going between amateur and pro. Do you even think about that, or is it? Are you able to just look at one fight at a time, or have the fight have the finishes just materialized? Uh, yeah, I try not to even think about that. I mean, every time I go into fight, I'm not even thinking about the finish. I'm just thinking about the battle that I'm going into. And, you know, I like to keep a fast pace. And if I hurt him or I see a chance for submission, I jump on it and go for the finish. The finish comes, it comes. If I get the decision win, the next fight, get the decision win. So what is the plan right now? What are you trying to do for 2015? Off to a quick start. You had the fight in December. Now you're getting one in February. What are you hoping to do this year? I just want fans in New Mexico to know who I am. I want to go out and take as many fights as I can. Uh, just really showcase that I'm not just a jiu-jitsu guy. I want to showcase my striking. Uh, showcase my wrestling. Just show everyone what the trust of me is all about. And show everyone what Josh and Coach the Tron. Looking to get some big fights this year. Far as here in the state goes, you're the young guy at flyweight right now. The two wins have been impressive. There was a lot of hype on you from the amateur days, and it just keeps growing. So, what have you been doing to deal with that? What do you do? You even notice it? Um, honestly, I don't notice it. I mean, like a lot of people. I mean, I see the articles and people tell me I'm really good, but I mean, I don't, I don't uh, really pay attention to it myself. I just still think of myself. I don't pay attention to the hype at all, honestly. Well, not paying attention to hype, but have you, have you sought back and looked over the landscape? I know that you train with a bunch of good 25ers, but have you thought about there's other people in the region around that these are the guys that I'm going to have to beat to get to the next level? Have you had any thoughts about that, or you're just kind of finding guys and fights as you can? Um, yeah, just any fights I can get right now. I mean, if I get a bigger fight with the, with the bigger name on the regional scene, then that'd be awesome, but uh, I don't really have anyone in mind. That would be a big fight for me. Uh, just have my coaches think of a good fight and uh, whoever I can get next or whoever they find for me this year to fight them. As long as my coaches say yeah, then I'm ready to fight whoever. Tell us about time management, though, because I know you've got work, you've got school, you do some coaching, I believe, with the jiu-jitsu side at the gym, and then also you're helping and preparing for your own fight, so... And the drive back forth from Santa Fe and Albuquerque. Where do you find all the time? Oh, man. I mean, I literally have no time for myself, and I'm all right with that. But uh, that's pretty much the thing, is I have no time for myself. I'm going to school full-time. I work two jobs. Uh, I'm teaching 
classes at the gym, uh, one class on Sunday at the a couple cardio and jiu-jitsu classes here in San Jose, so I have no time for myself, but I'm fine with that. I don't need any time for myself, I just need time to train, time to get better, and as long as I'm doing that, that's my time for myself right there. At such a young age, how are you able to be so focused in on this goal of this lifestyle? Um, you know, I don't want anything else. I mean, I can't picture myself doing anything else. Ever since I first started training jiu-jitsu, I just had it in my mind that I wanted to be a fighter. And, you know, I've never got that off my mind. I've just kept every day just going to the gym, doing stuff to get better. And it's just been my plan for day one. Well, I believe you're an amazing talent. I, I love watching you fight each time and the growth you're having. What's your message out there for the fans? Um, you know, uh, I want to make a big statement this year in 2015. I feel a lot better than I ever have before. I have a lot more confidence than I've ever had. I believe in myself now. And I think that was a problem earlier in my career. I didn't believe that I was good. Um... Now I think that I am a pro and I'm ready to be a pro and ready to make a big year in 2015. Uh, I want everyone to know how the drum we're ready is this year. Rocks Extreme Fight Night 7, February 28th. Going to be in the heart of Texas, taking on their hometown guy. We've seen you be very effective with your submissions, taking the back and in the clinch. Is there any areas of your game that you really need to go, feel that you need to go out there in this fight and prove that you're well-rounded at? Um, uh, I think I've proved with my jiu-jitsu that uh, I can get submissions. Uh, I want to go out there and show everyone that I'm not just a jiu-jitsu guy. I want to show that I have good striking too. And I, I want to show my composure in the cage. I don't just want to run out there and go crazy like I have in some of my amateur fights. I want to go out there, be calm, move around. Uh, and just get comfortable in the cage. I want to be comfortable striking. I want to be comfortable with my takedowns. I want to go to my north top things he doesn't be coming. I just want to go out there and really be aware and be conscious of all my combinations and my whole MMA game in general. And then who's going to be heading out there cornering you for this fight? Um, right now, it's going to be Josh Montoya and then a friend of mine from Santa Fe, Stephen Dalton. Uh, those two are going to be going down with me. And my coach, Ray he, he might be able to make it down there, but not 100% on that yet. And then last thing, who did you need to thank? Um, who did I need to thank? Uh, I really want to thank Coach Latrell, Coach Ray he, uh Joshua Montoya, especially for everything he's done for me. Uh, Stephen Gonzalez, Natalie Roy, everyone at Latrell's MMA, everyone at A&K, San Jose Muay Thai. And uh, just all my fans and friends and family and everyone that supports me and puts up with me through this training. Thank you for the time, Jerome. Thanks very much, Micah. Have a good day. You too. Everyone, flyweights be rare. We be there. Remember this name, Jerome Rivera. He's coming. <laughs>